Beep, 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 Click, click the subscribe and click the announcement button so, I, so you know when I'm going to start wibbling. Right, okay. Mm. There's a, a Twitter denizen who has uh, kindly pointed out something. This is a guy uh, called Bob Hampstead or at Burke underscore Hampstead. And he's m uh, mentioned something in regards to the, uh, the employment tribunal, recent employment tribunal of Joe Phoenix, who worked at the Open University and who was openly GC and had they set up a group. It all got rather nasty. If you've not seen what's been going on, Tribunal Tweets have covered it. Uh, it's, it, it's that we're even at this point is just ridiculous. It's, we have to eradicate this stuff and we have to do it as quickly as possible. And there was some time previous to that, back in October of 2022, Bob points out that the London School of Economics, who at the time, I'm almost sure, because I can't remember, I've done so many videos now, but at the, t at the time, I'm sure I called them out on this and said, what the hell are you doing? You're an economics university. You know, it was the London School of Economics, or LSE, as they are colloquially known, <clears throat> put out a statement of solidarity with open university staff and postgraduate research students. So a statement of solidarity to the OU, whom Joe has been taking to task in the Ursula Tribunal. Right. OK, so now you're in the know. Right. Um, it's gone. Bob points out the statement's gone. Well, why would they take it down? Why would they take it down? Right? A statement from the Gender Studies Department, and they took it down. So I thought it might be a good idea to remind them that you can take things down these days, but it doesn't mean they're gone. And thankfully, Bob, go Bob, right, has provided us with an archive of the, of the article as a gentle reminder exactly what the LSE Department of Gender Studies, which of course is full of lunatics, um, actually wrote. We, the LSE Department of Gender and Utters, no, studies, right, write this letter in solidarity with the scholars, researchers, members of staff and students at the Open University who are facing an unwelcome and antagonistic environment because of newly created gender critical research network. So blaming Joe Phoenix and her crew for, for bringing reality to the table. And we support and wholly endorse the open letter from OU staff and postgraduate research students written in response to the launch of the network. This was people trying to shut them down so they don't speak. But don't act like you're surprised. They do this all the time. This is what they do. Trans rights to human rights. Well, I'd like to discuss that. No! <laughs> oh, God. Right. <clears throat> so um, in response to the launch of the network was what the postgraduate research student said. And what LSE is saying, they're reiterating the demands of our colleagues at the Open University. We ask that Open University urgently rescind its support for this network and actively recommit to supporting trans rights in the field of gender studies. We are going to end gender studies, right, LSE? Are you there, LSE Gender Studies Department? Are you up yet this early in the morning? Because um, I think, you know, four years from now when Labour are done, you lot, right? If you're listening, of course they are. If you're right. We're going to get a right wing. We're going to get a right wing government. It'll either be four years or eight years, right? We're going to get a right wing government. That's what's going to happen because the British public are getting fed up now. And they're a very tolerant bunch, but when they get fed up, they get fed up. And last time they got fed up with the lunatic left was the seventies. How long were you in the wilderness then, Owen Jones? <laughs> I think that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. And in that time, we're going to start doing what many of the states have done, which is A, to destroy these ridiculous studies department that popped up in all the universities and just boondoggles, to defund anything not STEM related, uh, and to bring the universities to heel and get them back in a position where they've got rid of everybody that's, that's destroyed the trust and the public has in them, and make sure we get the right people in place and reinforce meritocracy. We're going to do the same with schools, right? Schools aren't inclusion factories, right? Schools are, schools are categorization factories. People hate this. So you go into school like me, right? Bit of a puffer. Um, and I got brutalised. So you were never going to categorise me right in the first place. Nobody knew what to do with me. Right? So you're never going to categorise me right. But you think about your average John and Jane. Right? Okay, average John and Jane go in. Jane shows an aptitude for science. Right? Jane is really good at science, physics or biology. Ooh, she's going to do well in that. Come here, come here, you know, pick your pick your doofers. Right? Everybody says, science, do, do your science. Jane goes, yeah, that's what I'm best at. I'll do it. Right? Bob, on the other hand, likes fitting tyres, right? And getting his hands greasy and taking cars apart. 
you filter Bob out of the school and you get him into work as soon as possible, right? You give the other one every encouragement you can. We're going to get back to using what it is as a categorization system. We need far more apprenticeships, far less degrees. Um, we'll see, but that's just me ranting and raving. And then we can get rid of this kind of crap here. Uh, which says about this is this is the gender studies department saying this in 2022 it says the gender critical research network which is what joe set up is an explicitly anti-intellectual attack on gender studies there's nothing intellectual about gender studies you academically inclined group banking machine right there's nothing nothing whatsoever about it is intellectual gender studies the intellectual attack on gender studies, trans, non-binary and gender non-conforming people and inclusive intersectional feminist politics. Just get in the bin. Proponents of the gender critical perspective, including the members and affiliated members of the network, are adamantly and openly opposed to recognising trans people, right, trans people's rightful and valid claims to their gender and their rights. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> right. Their efforts to undermine trans rights are particularly concerning now. Well, there wasn't nobody's underwriting, you know. You just don't get what you want, which is privileges, OK? It's particularly concerning now at a time when trans, non-binary and gender non-conforming people in the UK and elsewhere are already experiencing such immense restrictions on their social, medical, interpersonal and political livelihoods. Are they? Good. As numerous scholars and activists have documented, these those espousing gender critical perspectives, that, that's me and you, routinely make transphobic, discriminatory, inaccurate and harmful claims about trans people specifically and gender more broadly. Do we? I do. Right? Because gesture will shove it up anybody. Well, that came out wrong. <laughs> there Their unfounded viewpoints. There are two sexes. <laughs> Are, are inimical to intersectional feminism and scholarly debate. Oh, God. <laughs> get in the bin. This is such great. It's just the usual word salad, isn't it, right? Their unfounded viewpoints are inimical to intersectional feminism and scholarly debate, and they contribute to the ongoing anti-gender attacks on the field. In refusing the concept of gender and in framing sex as immutable, binary and essentialist, the gender-critical perspectives run counter to decades of scholarship from across the social sciences, humanities and medical fields, and it relies on and invests in racist, colonial understandings of sex and gender. What other workers? <laughs> right. But what's important to understand about this, and go and have a read of it. I'll put the archive up for you to see. This is a bunch of pseudo-academics in the pseudo-academic study area of gender um, who are attacking other academics so they can't speak. Right? That's what you have to understand. That's the most important thing. That's what the OU think. That's what the tribunal tweets is about, really. Free speech, right? And this lot don't want anything to do with it. Right? So they had some demands. In a, in, there were three demands. The LSE Department of Gender Studies said to withdraw its public support for, they want the OU to withdraw its public support for an affiliation with the Gender Critical Research Network to affirm their position as a trans-inclusive employer and education provider and to commit to developing a concrete plan of action for supporting and affirming trans students and staff in this trans-hostile external and internal environment. That was their three demands. No, you're not getting any of it. All right, okay. Trans doesn't exist. OK, stupid people. There are only there are only, you know, a number of things it can be. Confused kids and young people. Right. Perverted older men. OK. Or the mentally ill. Why is that so hard to understand? The big three. Yeah. Confused kids, perverted older men and the mentally ill. What what bit of that do they get? I don't know. The world's gone mad. Hey, <laughs> go and have a read. Thanks, Bob. I'll see you later.